This is how a pneumothorax appears on an ultrasound. In a normal lung, you'll have a normal parietal visceral movement gradient. You'll have normal shimmering, uh, and in M mode, you'll have a seashore or a sand pattern, as shown here. With a pneumothorax, you'll have acoustic impedance, which compromises the normal movement of the visceral and parietal pleura. You could see a pneumothorax moving in and out of frame in this GIF GIF down here. You'll also see that loss of that sand or seashore, and it said you'll have a barcode pattern in M mode. Air in the pearl space increases the ultrasound reflection, and that's why you have this pattern. The most specific sign for pneumothorax on ultrasound is a lung point, which is what I'm showing down here coming in and out of frame. This is the border between the normal and the absent lung sliding, and some sources say this is 100% specific. This is also visible on M mode as an alternating sand and barcode pattern, so like a mixture of this and this uh, going back and forth. This helps estimate pneumothorax size based on the location when you have an ultrasound. Um, however, this lung point is only about 66% sensitive, although it's very, very specific. Other key findings of pneumothorax, you'll have enhanced A lines, which are horizontal reverberation artifacts, absent B lines, which are these comet tails or lung rockets.